today we're going to take a look at how to involve a nonverbal student in everyday classroom activities by using a simple voice output device. And today we're going to be using actually a step-by-step -step communicator. Now the activity we're going to be demonstrating today is including the student in something like a story reading activity. Now, some stories do have repetitive words or phrases, and they can certainly be programmed on something like a step-by-step -step communicator. But for storybooks or chapter books that do not have a repetitive word or phrase, with a little imagination, we can actually create something that goes with the theme of the book. For instance, we can create a repetitive question, a repetitive sound effect, uh, or a repetitive word or a phrase or jingle that has something to do with the story. Now, the story that we're going to take a look at today is called Show and Tell by Robert Munch. So what I'm going to do first of all is take a look at the story to get a sense of what it's about. And I can see actually that uh, in this story the um, young boy named Benjamin is, has decided to take his baby sister to school. So I'm going to think of a sound effect that a baby might make and uh, we're going to program it onto, we've already programmed that onto the step-by-step -step communicator. And actually, if boys and girls can get involved in doing some of the programming, that is a whole lot of fun as well. Okay, boys and girls, so show and tell is our story today and it's by Robert Munch. So Jared, you get ready to hit the switch when I ask you to. Benjamin wanted to take something really neat to school for show and tell. So he decided to take his new baby sister. He went upstairs, picked her up, and put her into his knapsack and walked off to school. But when Ben sat down, his baby sister finally woke up. She was not happy inside the knapsack and started to cry. Okay, Jared. Ooh, very good. The teacher looked at him and said, Benjamin, stop making that noise. Ben said, that's not me, it's my baby sister. She's in my knapsack. I brought her for show and tell. Yikes, said the teacher. You can't keep a baby in a na knapsack. She grabbed Ben's knapsack and opened it up. And the baby looked at the teacher and said, Okay, Jerry. 